All right. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are Great you? to have you on, Dan. And thanks again for uh, being willing to do this with me. My pleasure. And I wanted to have you on because you're someone who's kind of like an ideal client uh, to me in many ways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you've had you've had an ongoing issue, which we could get out uh, get into in a little bit more. And then we've just been able to apply some of the concepts of kind of like, uh, you know, brain based training in the nervous system, and you've been able to feel some benefits. So maybe we could dive into that for a minute. Um, and so maybe we could just start with what you've been dealing with um, for the past period of time. Well, um, I, I think I, uh, I almost have to go back five or six years. Sure. Uh, when I fell, I, I tend to fall a lot. And, but five or six years, I had changed shoes. I got, I think it was Roca uh, yep. shoes and had a, it had a thicker sole. Yep. I was doing step ups after I had walked 10,000 steps and my foot hit the uh, step and I fell back. As I fell back, I went to grab this pole. So I was turned, I was twisted. Uh, so in that little episode, I compressed vertebrae, vertebrae in my back. And what I didn't know is my hips also got very out of a line. One was going front, one was going back. And that was just discovered. I mean, the, 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 my, my, the vertebrae in my back, I mean, they've healed. I mean, they're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but they've healed. But um, my back is just, was just always oh, very weak and I was in a lot of pain most of the time. Mm -hmm. I would fall a lot because, and I didn't realize it at the time because my hips were screwed up. So that was discovered about, probably about eight, nine months ago. I had gone in to see a, uh, um, an orthopedic doctor and he suggested an a, a epidural, which I had, it did absolutely nothing. Um, and then I started going to a chiropractor, um, Lisa Crago, and she's terrific. And she recommended that I see Drew because I had a, a number of issues, even though she was correcting my hips and she was doing it. I mean, it was a very slow, very slow and very painful process. She said, if you see Drew, you will get more confidence in your ability to walk and not fall. And that's really what I came in for um, to, to just not be, I would go out on walks with friends or by myself and my dog. And I, I would leave thinking, oh, please don't fall this time. So um, that, that was my real issue, the fear, the terrible fear of falling. And um, so I started working with Drew and my goal was just <laughs> to not feel like I'm gonna fall all the time. And, but what I found was that there were certain things that I couldn't do. Like I couldn't be walking across the street and look to see if anything had started to come, a car, because I couldn't, I had to stop in order to turn my head. That was yeah. a huge thing that I noticed a difference in. But probably more than anything, I went from being fearful of falling to feel you know, very confident in my ability to take a long walk and not fall over myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, maybe we could just slow it down and kind of go back to what you were mentioning just a moment ago. Um, and maybe you could just say all of the modalities of different things that you've been trying. Oh, all the things I've been trying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I have a list. Um, I, I, I've been a big uh, acupuncture fan. And so I've been doing acupuncture. Uh, yeah. And then I added massage therapy and through and oh and i do pilates mm -hmm. so um those were the things that i was trying okay and, you know they got me through the day yeah i was i was never really that comfortable i mean i always i always had this fear um 
and uh, it was always in the back of my mind. Yeah. And then okay. uh, my massage, when it was discovered my hips were cockamamie, uh, my massage therapist uh, suggested um, a, a um, chiropractor. I hadn't been to see a chiropractor since I fell yeah. and fractured my vertebrae because yeah. it threw it up even worse. Yeah, yeah. That's why I have to have the right people. So just to recap, so some of the main issues that you were living with, back pain and also figuring out this balancing situation, as you mentioned, walking through the street. So I remember there's always two two stories that you've shared with me before that kind of stood out to me as like real world examples of how it plays out. And one is when you're walking your dog in the street, right? And just like you mentioned, like being able to turn your head and feel confident. So I don't know if there's anything on that you want to elaborate on. And then remember when I was uh, working with you in your backyard and you shared that story about uh, um, the Rose Garden? Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that'd be funny. There was an important line. I don't know if you remember what you, what you said exactly, but oh, I'm trying to jog your memory and then I'll share it if you can't, can't remember. Well, um, the, the two thing is, you know, walking the dog and, and looking um, both ways without yeah. coming to a complete stop. Um, that I would just get dizzy. I would just, you know, get yeah. kind of feel very, very. Now I like to show off. I'm walking the dog and I just. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and in my, I have a rose garden. I love roses. Yeah. And I would go in there, and I would always be afraid I was going to end up dying with my head <laughs> in a rose bush. Yeah. Because I, I would get, I would go to step, and I would just feel very lopsided or whatever. And uh, but now, I mean, I just. Yesterday, I just fertilized all my roses and and oh wow, awesome, awesome! And did you know and worked the Good soil and all that, and with no pain and um, no feeling like I was going to fall into a. Room. Hey, hey! Look at that! Look at that! And I didn't even prompt that. <laughs> Good. I'm happy for you. I'm really happy for you. Okay, so let me ask. So you've worked with really good people, uh, massage therapists I didn't know, Kristen, and then the chiropractor that I know. I mean, two other uh, professionals. Um, and obviously, we each kind of have our unique trade. So what stood out with our work, with your work with me? Well, for you. First of all, I I always felt real positive, and that uh, with you know acupuncture, massage therapy, et cetera. When I first started working with you, Drew, I thought, really? I was very skeptical because I thought, yeah, yeah. This, this is bullshit. This, this, you know, there's yeah. no way this works. And, but I, I made the commitment that I was going to give it a month and see what would happen in a month. And I, and I was very good about doing my little exercises and practice. Yeah, you sure are. You're a role model. I really, I really was really into yeah. it. I'm, I'm not as good now. I guess I'm overconfident. But um, when I do know when I need, often I do the, the, the things, few exercises before I go out on a walk just to build mm -hmm. my confidence up. But um, I, I, you know, I was skeptical, but then I saw the results. I saw that uh, I was just steadier on my feet, and I I wasn't I, I didn't have that fear that I had before, and I think it was a combination of things. I think the fact that my hips were now aligned really helped. Yeah. But that combined with the work that we did uh, has really made my life a whole lot more pleasant. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you. So. What would you say? I don't want to put words in your mouth, but when you were like, because uh, you've said this to me before, like, oh, this is bullshit. You know, how could this work? So um, why would you say that you had that initial response? It, it just makes no sense. I mean, yeah. it honestly makes no sense. I mean, yeah. how this could help me, yeah. Yeah. From, you know, from falling over. Yeah. The curious thing is my acupuncturist also came to Drew, to you. And she told me, she said it was for her, it was miraculous because yeah. she had this 
very, she hurt her ankle. I don't know if she broke it or strained it terribly. And she was in constant pain. And yeah. th this process. Can you turn your camera down just a little bit because the light is too much light? There you go, that's better. The process really helped her. She said, I literally went from being in constant pain to no pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, I had that. And of course, Melissa, my, my so, doctor. A little she, bit. Pardon? Positive confirmation. Yeah, positive confirmation. So I said, okay, I'll give it a try. But as I said, I went in pretty skeptical, but I came out a believer. Yeah, yeah. And, and just so, because yeah. other people who are watching this, they may have no idea what, what you're talking about. But for the sake of our work specifically, we worked on vision exercises right. and we worked on uh, the inner ear. Right. And so it seems like they're simple exercises that may not have anything to do with how well you feel like you're moving. Yeah, that's why it could seem like that's ridiculous. How could this help? It is interesting when you do yeah. exercises and really practice them. Um, just, you know, and mine always was my left eye. And I could, I could tell that my left eye was out there somewhere that it shouldn't be. Uh. It, wasn't, it wasn't working. In fact, I'm, I have an appointment with my eye doctor. Oh, okay. A few weeks, and I'm going to mention this to him because yeah. I, you know, I don't know if there's any relationship at all. But um, anyway, it was always my left eye, and um, my left eye, curiously enough, was always my weakest eye. Mm -hmm. So you know, as far as vision is concerned. Yeah, for sure. So again, I don't know if there's any connection on that, but. Anyway, but again, the proof is in the pudding, right? So you came in, you're like, oh, I don't know. This seems a little bit, a little bit bizarre to say the least. But then you gave it a month, you stuck to it. And for everyone else to give you kudos, I mean, you do your work. You know, usually I see people once a week for an hour, and that's really not that much time if you look at how many hours there are in the week. But you do your homework consistently, practicing these basic things, but they help you when you're walking, help you with, you know, when you're out with your dog. And now you're able to kind of like tend to the garden and yeah. you didn't fall over and you're here alive. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. I, I kind of got into a, I'm, I remember an old friend of mine I used to work out with. Um, used to, she was a, a physical therapist and she used to say, you know, you need to attach exercise to something you do every day. Uh, and so because in those days, I literally got up, it was like 530 in the morning. I got up, got my, put my clothes on, got in the car and went to work out. Of course, I was working full time and all that. Now I'm a little lazier. But what I do is, I, you'll laugh at this, but I do my exercises when I brush my teeth. So before I brush my teeth, I do about five minutes of whatever it might be. Um, yeah. my exercises and uh and then i brush my teeth so i i connect the two yeah i just find that that works for me yeah yeah that's important i always tell people find something that works for you yeah yeah well thanks so much dana my pleasure anything else i don't know, if the, you know? I, I i don't think so i think we co pretty much covered everything unless you feel like there's something we missed out, left out of the story nope i'm good okay <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again. And I'll see you uh, when you get back from your visiting your family on the East Coast. Gone for a week. We'll see you when I get back. Sounds good. Safe okay. travels. Thank you. Thanks again, Dana. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye.